Hello, you awesome people. We are back and uh, over here. We do actually have someone in need. Uh, that was a tiny helicopter there, anyway. But uh, okay. Hi, Professor. Hmm. Who are you? Well, hello to you, Rose. I'm Professor Elsa Einstein. Are you, by any chance, a qualified helicopter mechanic? No. How about Chinese? Do you speak Chinese? No. Blast. My knowledge of helicopter is basic at best and the manual I found is in Chinese, which is one of the few languages I've yet to master. You have to understand that I simply don't have time to spend 3.7 days through reasoning and logical thinking to learn either how helicopters work or indeed the Chinese language from the manual. By the time I'll have frozen to death in this miserable place. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, now you've turned up and solution to my problems appeared. Such good fortune. Two people should, without risking your horse health, be able to sit on horseback with each other and ride along with the si same efficiency to the nearest pace with some kind of civilized temperature. Now, Rose, how does one get up on the saddle? In theory, it's very simple, but notice that in practice, it's more difficult to perform my, in my movements in the order and accuracy as the theory requires. You'll help me? Oh, thank you. That was kind of you. Now you get to steer this vehicle to uh, civilization before my body temperature reaches a critically low level. Point, and she's on the horse. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just take her back to the camp. So she won't freeze to death. And uh, she's uh, quite a good rider since so she can sit on the back and uh, without any problems as I am jumping <laughs> with my horse. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yep, she's occasionally looking out to see where we're going. <laughs> there we go, we're going up. up, up. Okay, so here we go. There you go. Mm-hmm. What on earth is this place? Oh, would you look at that, Nick Stoneground? Nick Stoneground, I see you've used as ever your unstoppable talent for in ineptitude ineptitude to build some kind of camp. How will you ever be able to conduct serious research in this kind of uncivilized setting? We can discuss this this uh, discuss this this issue later. I see that you have a fire that burns and I it might it must be only a matter of minutes before my extremist extremites have frozen to the oh, extremite extremites ah anyway legs and arms and all that have frozen to the point that you could snap off a finger. Nice. Nick, before I uh, warm myself by the fire, I must remember to convey the greetings of the board of the university. They want to express their congratulations to you on your discovery of this valley, and they look forward to the first results of your expedition here with great excitement. They also say that they will unfortunately not be able to fund your research any further before they get to see some real results. And with that said, Rose, I can now declare that never have I been so happy to be close to such a primitive fire. Ah, precious warmth. Okay, uh, let's see what Nick has to say about that. Hmm. Oh dear, oh dear, no more funding. That's quite a setback. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, Rose, I've, I, if I'm ever going to be able to make any proper discoveries, I can't have Professor Einstein poking around all the time. What's she doing here anyway? She hasn't said anything. What, if she related to Albert? Well, yes, she is, but she's from the smart side of the family. Mm -hmm. I think, I, if, she, if she thinks this camp is so awful, then she's welcome to improve whatever she wants. Just as long as she doesn't bother me and my epic plans. Tell her that from me, Rose. Because you can't speak to each other, why not? Hello to you again, Rose. Uh, what am I up to? Well, I am, um, you know, uh, right, listen. My recent expectation experiments uh, with the practical applications of quantum dynamic weren't so popular with the management at the university. They were a bit miffed that I'd build a very small nuclear reactor in order to generate enough power to run my device. I assured them that it was harmless, but apparently it didn't matter. They were completely irrational and refused to listen to my entirely logical explanations. 
To cut a long story short, we agree that I would pursue my research elsewhere until this whole affair has settled down because apparently the authorities wasn't uh, weren't very happy that someone had built a hydro hydrogen bomb in the middle of a Jorvik city. Why did I build a hydrogen bomb? It was just a completely ordinary, entirely banal experiment. I'd never intended to detonate it the bomb for real, and certainly not right then in any case. Well, well, not everybody can be rational. The university in the management found s for some reason that this distant isolated location they'd just heard about sounded perfect for me to conduct my research in. So here I am. Unfortunately, all my equipment was lost in the helicopter crash. So I don't really know what to do now. Rose, can you answer me something? How on earth is someone supposed to conduct serious research, research here? It's uh, like I've taken a one-way trip to the Stone Age. What's that? Nick wondered if I wanted to take responsibility for the state of the camp. Hmm. Probably the first intelligent thought to come out of that man in his whole life. I'll see to it that this becomes a first-class research facility of the very highest international standard. First, I need to set up a, out a plan. Rose, a pen and paper at once so that the planning can begin. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's over here. Mm -hmm. It happens to be a pen here and then some paper. Got eight success. We have everything we need. Uh, how about now? Ah! Whoops. Sorry. Okay. A pen and a paper. Thank you, Rose. Now let the planning begin. One way to. Oh! Oh no! The fire went out. Shit. <laughs> hmm. But what's going on? But it's so cold that my brain has almost frozen solid. The temperature must be at least zero degrees Kelvin. Bush. Look, Rose, the fire's gone out. Bush. Rose, don't you stand there. Do something. Get something appropriately flammable immediately before we freeze to death. Stick, branches, twigs, anything. Brr. Okay, okay, shield your pants. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, everything is else is doing that for you. <laughs> Now well, let's get some stuff for the fire. <laughs> oh. uh, we need some more. Ah, there. Wait. Uh, ah, I guess we can go here. Here's some more. And turning back. <laughs> Here you go, lady. But you found twigs. The fire has gone out. Cold. But the twigs and the fire. Quick, little rose. Burry. Take this lighter and light the fire. Okay, okay. And then. Come here. Do I have? Do I have to get a four C for this? I have to get off horses for this. Oh, so annoying. So annoying. There you go. Fire! Fire in the hole. There you go. Oh, hearts at last. How lovely. Ah, that was probably the most horrific situation I ever found myself in, Rose. This is truly a deadly cold, getting right into your joints and deep down in your bones. How do we attract the world's leading researchers in this climate? Quiet, shh, let me think, Rose. Hmm. Aha, I've got it. 
My logical thinking is really on top from today, Rose. Hush now and listen to my plan. The first step that we must be impl implemented so is, of course, to mark the way here so that the potential candidates for our research center can at least find their way here. Since the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaurs is at, at a technological level comparable to the Stone Age, it is particularly appropriate that we adjust our methods accordingly. Do you understand, Rose? No? Well then, let me give you a suitable Stone Age explanation. Ugh, bring torches, go towards elevator, ugh, ugh, d stick torches in torch holders, ugh, light torches with light, uh, uh, uh. Hmm, that was a bit rude, wasn't it, Rose? Is this coal that get, gets me all cranky? Sorry. But come now, off you go. Okay, yeah, that was a bit rude. <laughs> Uh, fire! Uh, uh, f uh. <laughs> so yes. Anyway, this is actually kind of lovely uh, when you manage to get all these down, and we get some fire. We get some. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go. I don't think I missed anyone, right? I don't think so. Ah, oh, stop, 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 stop! And then the last one. There we go. And then we all the way back, we're going to lit them up with fire. Nope, okay, fine. It was not okay, apparently. Great, a well-lit path here is the most basic underlying par part of my plan. Now let's continue. Let me clarify our positions, Rose, so that you understand our precious, uh, precarious situation. We're a long way from the AAE's uh, headquarters and can't expect any financial assistance from them in the near future. Just to fill in the most basic forms would take me at least three months before the applications has been proce processed and the money has been paid. We are we are talking about a minimum of two and a half years at least. We don't have time to wait for that, as I'm sure you can understand. What we should do? Well, Rose, that's obvious. We will... We will... Uh, um... Aha! Now I have it! Uh, the rational and logical thing to do is to lease land in the camp to a souvenir salesman and to attract tourists who want to share our discoveries and so on and so forth. A simple enough idea, don't you think, Rose? So, you know what the next step is, right? No? Think logically now, it's fresh, very pre pretty obvious. Okay, I'll explain. We're just waiting for the letters to arrive. What letter, you ask? The letter from all the souvenir salesmen who wants to peddle their tat here of course. Come away with you now. See if there are any letters in the mailbox. Um, okay. Just randomly be in the mailbox? No, there's. Th it's empty. Uh, I don't think <laughs> they will just... Nothing in the mailbox? Most illogical. According to my calculations, the likelihood of something having arriving was almost 100%. Well, well, that's the probability theory for you. One can never be sure. That's the whole point. 
Hmm, you've got to lots of work to be getting on with the here in any case. It's uh, just a case of getting on with the renovation work until the letter arrives. Unfortunately, I've got no time to be helping with uh, that sort of thing. I need to go over my calculations that I can give a more exact predictions of when the mail is going to come. Most peculiar. So, yes, and I will have to do some reputation working here uh, in the meantime. Let's see now how the time is. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's head back to Veildale because something appeared uh, this week's, um, let's see now, update that I want to show you before we end this episode. Uh, so, yes, let's head over. And listen to the music, it's amazing. The music is so epic and amazing. Mm. I have to say. Let's see now. Uh, we're heading up to the uh, Oh, of course we missed that. But we can take this. We. Now we're free! And I don't have any warm clothes in my backpack, so we will just have to look like this. Um. so yeah! Hmm. I just want this to be done since it came here and if we were to restart the game, we would have gotten this race pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. So I just want it to be done. <laughs> so this came uh, it, well actually we got <laughs> like it was probably a mistake but it, it was in the game we couldn't do anything with it but it, everything that was supposed to be set up was sort of suddenly just there and everyone was like what the hell is this <laughs> is this something we're getting soon or something and we had to wait and then it disappeared and we had to wait a few weeks and now it's here again uh, it is this racing course, Hi Fina Way. Hey you, hello in the woods. Are you used to riding in the woods? Can you read maps and do you have an eye for finding hidden things? Then obviously you just should take part in the mounted orient hearing competition that I organize here in Hollow Woods. Everyone who takes the part gets a cool orient hearing sweater. Have you never been orienteering before? Wow, you really missed out! Don't worry, I'll explain how it works. You need to look for checkpoints here in the woods and stamp them to show that you have were there. You'll want to find them all as quickly as possible and bring them back here to me in order to cross the, in order to cross the finish line. The checkpoints looks like uh, this one right here besides me. I will mark a couple of checkpoints out in a uh, in uh, out in the map on your way on your map with white markers. Do you want to test your equestrian talent in in, in tough terrain? Of course we do. So uh, this is basically how the map will look as we start the race. Not exactly that the checkpoints uh, varies. So ooh, new music, cool. Um, so let's head over to this first checkpoint that should be over here. I can see you from here. Yay! There is the first checkpoint. And then you click it. And you get this lovely, lovely little picture up there. And then we head over to the other one that is over here somewhere.
and that is basically how it's done and so we're heading back to the finish line uh, once you've done this uh, you can uh, do this competition with your friends or just to uh, do this course basically every time you want to level your horse you will get some XP for it uh, I have no idea why I took this road anyway. Um, so, yes, and uh, try to get your best time and best of the week, best of the day, best of the month and all that jazz, basically. Just like the other courses, just the way it's done is a bit different. And yes, and finish line! Yay! Show me all the stamps. You found all the checkpoints, not bad at all. Actually, I think it's pretty amazing. If you're interested in competing in orienteering, we are with a group of friends. You can use this sign here. Competing with friends in orienteering is the most fun way to do it. Highly recommended. Come back anytime to compete again. So yes, that is basically how it's done. And this uh, sort of competition sign is a bit different, you see, with the map and the, 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 the compass and everything. Uh, but anyway, people, I think we're ending in here today. Uh, next time, I think we're going to be somewhere else on Jorvik and not in the Dino Valley. But in the meantime, people, stay awesome, as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!